So the first thing I do with my class is I read the mentor text. We can do this a couple of different ways. We can read it in small group, kind of like circle time. We can display it on the board using overhead, or we can push it out to their devices if they have student devices. So once we read it our first time and we get kind of the main idea, we move on to creating our organizer in our interactive notebook. So for this activity, I have two simple organizers. I have the bottom piece, which has the evidence of the type of figurative language, and I have the top piece, which has the name of the figurative language. interactive notebook template is ready to go. We're going to go back into our mentor text and we're going to look for each individual example and then we're going to write down the definition of each piece of figurative language. So once your class has talked about the example of a hyperbole and come up with a definition for hyperbole, we'll go back to our interactive notebook and we'll write it in there. And next we go through each example and we do the same thing as we did for hyperbole. We look for the example in the text, we put our finger on the example, we talk about what that type of figurative language must be, we write the definition on the front, and once we've got them all filled in, we're done and we're ready to move on to our next activity, which is practicing our figurative language and looking for it in other texts. And then of course we'll flip back to this throughout the year anytime we need help with our figurative language. So you may notice that mine is not colored yet. That's because I have my students color it either at home or during any fun or free time that we have. So I do send it home with my students like this. It's really good because it gives them a refresher as they're coloring it. They're remembering what they did that day. So usually part of my homework is to color this. on how to get this resource for free, go over to my blog at performingeducation.com, click on store, and then you're going to want to click on reading interactive notebooks on the left hand side. That'll take you to all of my reading interactive notebooks for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade standards, as well as the freebies that I have, which is this lesson, and then there's another lesson for fifth and for sixth.